the dust that you'll sit down there. Yeah. Hey, hey. I'm laughing because it's never happened to me. But anyway, but it happens, isn't it? It does. Yes. Pretty much. So hair food, very, very important. Very, if you're very not going to use the rest of them, at least half hair food is a man. Yes. Good. Ah, then, now, mm -hmm. any other, again, because I want to go now to the complex ones. Because I've complex. got I've got questions that came in mm -hmm. on exactly how I should treat my hand. I ask you that we know exactly how we treat them in the house. Yes. Oh, by the way, we have different types of hair. Yes. Nadja, we have those hard, hard hair. <laughs> and we have the normal hair. Of course, in Africa, yes. there's not going to be gumu. Kuna zile ngumu, kuna zile soft, soft kuna type, zile yeah. medium. Yes. So when you go to pick your hair products, pick the ones that are that suits your hair. They are written like, let's say you have a very hard hair, you should at least use uh, something to moist your hair okay. before you use that hair food. Yes. Wash it with shower gel, maybe, before you use that hair food. Just, yeah, leave-ins. We also have leave-ins. Yes. Leave-ins, mm -hmm. the more of a moisturizer and hair softeners. Okay. Yes, you just place them inside your head. It even heals your scalp, by okay. the way. Okay. Yeah. Pretty much. Since we're talking on that, let me just pick a couple of questions that um, I got around this particular conversation. Good. Mm -hmm. Here they are. Somebody asked. Nyole angu, nikichanua, after one hour, imerudi bile likuwa. What do I need to do? <laughs> Stop laughing. Could I? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, well, yes. what I could say about that, yes. maybe you don't off, you are not a regular, you are not, you don't, like, how should I put that sentence? You should just make sure you're a regular, clean person. Okay. You just do it regularly. Okay. Like, you can tell me you've not combed your hair after one week and you expect it to be the same, same. No. But if you maintain using those products, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. making your hair clean, maintaining one barber, there's no way you'll comb it after one hour and then it goes back to how it was. Yes. Yes. So... <laughs> so the hair takes the form of, if you let it rest, it's going to take that form of rest. Yes. To the point that if you touch it once, then it might not actually go back to where it was, isn't it? Yes. Pretty much. So somebody, someone also asks, Nafani to me a relaxer, na mbona. Eti ni mambionga ni to me a relaxer. Why should I use a relaxer on my hair? And okay. what is a relaxer? A relaxer is more of a living living like goes directly to the scalp yes okay let me tell him first mm -hmm. you see the brain works from where from the scalp yeah. from the hair from it's, the it's inside the yeah. head right yeah. Yeah. so you should make sure your head is <laughs> relaxed relaxed is that is that what it is <laughs> <laughs> because if your head is not relaxed yeah. how yeah. are you gonna think uh -huh. because it's uh, this body functions from here yes so Make sure your head is clean uh -huh. and relaxed. Oh, that's the whole essence of yes. relaxing your hair. Relaxing your hair. Sometimes when you go to the salon or to the barber, put that relaxer, you'll just be like, you'll actually feel relaxed because it's just entering your, your <laughs> skull. It means you yourself should, it should start by you. Yeah. See, it's about you, Kwanza, the whole topic about Kufkiria. Yes. Uh, relax. All right. So we, go, so we go down again. This is the question about hair. Mm -hmm. My hair is turning gray. And this, I think this is from a man who's worried about uh, having gray hair. Mm -hmm. How should I treat this hair and what am I supposed to use? Okay. So, okay, sometimes those gray hairs, and it's not even about the, even me, I have gray hair, and I'm just 22. Yeah, it's about genetics, yes, isn't it? Yes, we, yeah. we have, it might be genetic, okay. you might be the one starting that gene, okay. or it might be age. Yeah. If you're aging and you feel uncomfortable about it, we have products that can change the color, like dyeing, you can dye your hair black, mm -hmm. but it has effects. It has its own effect. And so what are the effects of dyeing your hair black? Or any other color? In that your sense? hair won't be natural, of course. Uh -huh. And uh, you'll just, some look funny. 
by the way. Definitely. If, yeah. if I'm going to put brown hair dye on, on my head. What I'd advise him? Yeah. If they're growing gray, <laughs> let them grow. In okay. As a matter of fact, you can even dry all of it, dye all of it gray so that you look good. Gray is good. Was that it? When you see a man mm -hmm. with grey hair, mm -hmm. well, from, from, a, from a beautician perspective, mm -hmm. how does a man look? Mm, I'd say good, only if you're <laughs> hygienic. Or if you're hygienic. Yes, yeah. but if you're not hygienic, you're aging, you have grey hair, that is work. All right, yeah. so we continue down now, and there's a new trend that mm -hmm. has come up within um, the beauty industry, mm -hmm. scrubbing. Yeah. Majua, Lizzie, i got to tell you this. Majority of men, the, the scrapping is just a new phenomenon mm -hmm. within that particular industry. For them, we've known that you, when you go to a barber, that's it. Trim your hair, get out. Do your other bestness. Could you talk to me about scrubbing, number one, why it's important for me to consider scrubbing when it comes to that perspective of grooming? Mm -hmm. How often should I scrub my hair? And how best to do it? Mm 